Musenspiel continues God of War on Zeus Mountain. Yes. I believe that's what it's called. I think. Hard to I think. say. So you got me to watch scenes of an anime called Nichi Joe. Yes, it is absolutely batshit insane. <laughs> Just this crazy shit, like this one girl drops one of her weenies in her lunch, and then it suddenly turns into a scene from Dragon Ball Z as she tries to catch it. <laughs> it's... It... It definitely uh, makes me laugh uncontrollably, yeah. going, what even is happening? Yeah, I think that's the idea. <laughs> the, yeah, it's so over the top. Uh, basically, Absolutely. it focuses around, I guess it's two schoolgirls, school Mio and who was the other girl? Yuko. Yuko. There's a couple other characters. Like, there's this one girl named Nano. She's a robot with a wind-up key coming out of her back. Oh, God. She lives with a like eight-year-old girl who's apparently a genius inventor. <laughs> but I definitely... Loading. This looks like a... Oh, I thought this part was in the second game. Well. That was a common theme with uh, Joey and I. We kept, like, remembering things, but we couldn't remember if it was in this one or the second game. Oh, yeah. So, like, I thought it was in the second game. I thought this one was in the first game, you know. Just... <laughs> um, but back to Nishi Joe, uh, the first we watched three videos. Yeah. And they all of them made me laugh. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. It almost like they got funnier with time. Yeah, pretty much. Uh -oh. Because... Harpies! Harpies! No harpies! Okay, so the, yeah, the first one was she had a little octopus, uh, or weenie that looks like an octopus. Yeah. A little cocktail weenie, and um, it starts out with the weenie falling uh, out of her chopsticks, and it goes from... Like, one end to the other where she tries to catch it with her hand in the chopstick and it's slapped to the left. Uh, straight into... And Mio's watching this as, like, some sort of event is occurring. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, it's going to the girl with, like, a, ca a baseball catcher's mitt. Yeah. But <laughs> just, I do just a completely random... completely out of... Oh, shit, I died. That was quick. Flamethrowers. Meanwhile, a, a dude walks in. He's got a, uh, a yellow mohawk, and he sees a dime right in front of it. So he picks up. He goes to pick pick up the change. The weenie goes through his hair into the glove. <laughs> yeah. She slaps the glove, but the weenie falls out because it's smaller than the glove than the glove can catch. Yeah. And then it goes to the right, and she Dragon Ball Z dashes over to the like yeah. lockers and catches it at the end. She's like safe. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then the other girl's like, Ah, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> As it tapped the ground before she could catch it. Right. It was, uh, insane. Absolutely. And then, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, not the flamethrowers! Yeah. The harpies! Don't go there. I have to, I want to kill the archers so they don't keep bugging me while I slay these, <laughs> m these flying annoyances. And then the second video was the girl, um, uh -oh. She misses, she didn't, she forgot her homework, so the teacher makes her stand out in the hallway. Well, at, at the hallway is looking into, I guess, the school courtyard, uh -huh. and uh, she sees a deer, and she's like, oh my god, a deer! Oh, oh. She's, she's surprised and shocked. <laughs> and barely the talk. <laughs> barely talk, which is the theme to, to her character, that she can't speak because she's so excited. Yeah. Right? Well... Then the principal of the school walks up and tries to catch the deer, and he gets right. headbutted by the deer. Yeah. So then she's shocked again. She's like, oh my god, the principal's dying, he's gonna, yeah. you know, death, and it kind of repeats that language, but yeah, it's yeah. just the sequence of the principal and the deer fighting each other. Like, the principal goes onto a statue and does a moonsault. Yeah, <laughs> like a luchador. -y. He takes off his clothes and he's wearing like a Kevlar vest and that tackles the deer head on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just absolutely nuts. And then, uh, ah, ah, get away from me! The teacher takes the deer and German suplexes it, and then his wig falls off. So then yeah. that that what, that was the final straw. She rushes in the classroom and she's about to tell him, but who's gonna believe her, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I think Hades' thing would be a good one in this situation. Okay, good idea. Yeah. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. So instead of just saying the truth, she's like, it's all quiet in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> but the final one was my favorite, where um, the two girls are by, a, I guess, a vending machine. Yeah, a bunch of vending machines. A bunch of vending machines. A, pol a policeman goes, oh, there's been a bunch of counterfeit money, and uh, person... Uh, 
we're looking for a culprit that has a like a, a brown bag with a red stripe, and that's the exact one Mio has, and she starts f- instantly freaking out. Yeah. So oh, then, no! so then she uh, she doesn't want to she doesn't doesn't want to give up her bag, and she like throws money down, and uh, Yuko is like, "Oh my god, it was really you! What are you doing?" It's like, is that your only counterfeit money? And she goes, no, it's real. It's a bribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then the uh, police officer takes the bag out of, forcefully takes the bag out of her hand. And uh, it turns out there's uh, like a yaoi manga she's, dra- yeah. <laughs> she's drawn. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, what? So then it, it, the, the, it, the next few scenes is just her basically beating the shit out of the people to, yeah. to get her yaoi back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, it goes from the police officer to her friend uh, to a goat chewing it. And then the yeah. random dude in a top hat picks it up. Yeah. And she just walks away, <laughs> like, <then> distraught. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> so crazy. Oh, jeez. Freaking archers. Hades. Use Hades. Oh, yeah. There we go. You have all these powers and you're not using them. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. There we go. But yeah, pretty much the entire show is like peppered with moments like that. Just... Yeah, so I gotta I gotta watch a full episode of Ichijo and just I mean it, it looks like it was uh it was an anime from the early 2000s. Yeah, or... Actually, I think it came out around 2008, 2009? Yeah, it looks, to, it, it looks a lot worse than that, but it looks like it's just so over the top, I would yeah, I would like it. it is insane. I'm going to have to ask a couple of the communities I'm a part of if they've seen Ichijo before. I'm sure they have. Yeah, I'm sure a few have. It's just the most crazy slice-of-life show you've seen ever. <laughs> Is it really slice of life? It looks like it's just straight up comedy. Eh, comedy slice of life. There's no real plot to it, so. Well, most comedies don't. They're just funny. Hmm. Fucking harpies. Is there any any other anime that's uh like comedy or slice of life that you really like, or is it just bat- batshit insane like that? Uh, oh, it's not. It's not really crazy like Nichi Joe, but Azumanga Daio is fun to watch. I've never seen that. Everyone speaks highly of it. It's on my little list of shows to watch. That's for sure. Just kind of a kind of a cute show. It's not. It's no real over the topness per se to it. At least not to Nietzsche Joe's extent. But the characters. Eighties. Are... Oh, I guess it's. Well. Yeah, oh, I do have enough. Never mind. There you go. <laughs> Man, these harpies—they're just endless. There you oh, go. Never mind. Good. You can level something up. Uh, you know, just get to solid ground, and then. Well, you might as well get to an area first, and then do that. Okay, good enough. Good idea. So, if memory serves me correct, uh, I was doing that roll when I first played it, and I rolled straight into the thing, and it killed me. Oh no! R two man. This is an image. Of man battling okay. Zeus himself. <laughs> it is an image of the future. How do you oh, know? Oh, so they had this plan for a while. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, look at that! They even uh, knew ahead, ahead, ahead that they were, we were going to battle Zeus. <laughs> cool. That's a nice little testament to the gamers. Apparently. Pandora's box. Yeah. We made it to Pandora's box. Here's where we grab. Oh my god. Oh my god. There it is. It looks like something that shouldn't be opened. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open it. So what well, what do you think is in Pandora's box? I, hmm. Remember the original myth went that it contained ev- everything evil in the world. Right, but what do you think is going to happen here? Well, it's even the point in speculating now. Seems like, in this context, it's uh, something akin to a nuke. Okay, take that theory under advisement. 
I'm gonna use it on Ares, I guess, while he to make him stop attacking Athens. If I could just carry the damn thing. Yeah, how do you how are you gonna get it out of there? It's hard enough just getting to it. Yeah, really. Oh, you just put it in your pocket. Yeah. Right? I mean, come on. It's more like a chest. It's not a box at all. Yeah. <laughs> Pandora's chest. <laughs> oh, look at that. It was... How convenient. Basically at the beginning the whole time. <laughs> so nice to know the gods are thinking of us. <laughs> um, push? There we go. It's like, don't worry, we'll get to Athens. <laughs> no problem. Oh my carry god. this thing all day. What's going on? You must bring Pandora's box back to Athens, Plato. You cannot back outside. Again, it's just that easy. <laughs> Here it's we the, come. The easy button. We're going. Let me just kick it a couple times. Oh, it goes oh, so far. It really moves. Nah. Have you seen the flower we saw that day? I don't believe so. It's um it's quite sad. <laughs> it's quite sad. Yet it's it has its comedic elements for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Its confines. Kratos had found the means to destroy the gods. Alright, let me just haul this thing up on my back and far away in Athens. Make the long day's journey to huh? what? Is there something on my face? <laughs> You've recovered Zeus's precious box, but you will not live long enough to see it opened. Oh, what's he gonna do? See to that. What? Goodbye, Spartan. You will Holy the shit. Of Hades He's got a hell of an arm. Eternity. Oh, shit. Life began to it's a good shot. Him, yeah. His thoughts return to that fateful night. Hawkeye would be proud. Even in death, the memories, the visions would not fade. Ooh. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the guard of war. My wife, my child, how? Actually, yeah, getting back to a question you asked before. I think my favorite part of the game was fighting that big iron. Kratos, now with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You will become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. Ares! From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, oh, all would shit. know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. Damn. Named. Yeah, he just looks like an albino with a couple tattoos going. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Box, life hey, give me back my box! Let me just pop this spear out. <laughs> and that's the end of the game. <laughs> Did you see that coming at all? Nope. Oh shit, we're falling into hell. To his eternal resting place. But Kratos had no intention of resting yet. He intended to live, to return to Earth and yeah, that was lucky. quest. Let go, fool! You won't drag me down to that cursed river! There is a task left for me above. <laughs> you again? <laughs> you remember him? Yeah. He was he was the dude that he uh kicked down the Leviathan's throat. Yeah. <laughs> at the beginning. 
<laughs> That's insult to injury right there. Yeah, so that wasn't the end of the game. Nope. I fooled you! Aha! Escape from hell. Path of Hades. Do I want health or do I want magic? I believe I want health. I would say health is priority, for sure. Give me health! Oh yeah, I should, uh... Oh, I can get magic. Anyway, let me level something up quickly. Hades. Army of Hades. Yeah, that's a good one to level up for sure. Yes, absorb the souls of the dead. Delicious. Now I would uh do the purple sword. Right. Purple sword. Let me just. Oh no! Oh, too bad. Oh well. That's great. Yes, I would like to save. But then why even make the other one? So before the cut, before the cutscene, what was uh, what were you gonna say? Yeah, my favorite part of the game was uh, that boss battle with the giant iron bull. Yep. That that's was... that's probably uh, one of the most one of the most um, memorable points of the game. Definitely. Well, the entire Hades stage was was really memorable. Just like st steampunk with hellfire. If I remember correctly, this path of Hades isn't very long. Hmm. Just another chest. Gimme, gimme. Yay, more orbs. I think it's funny he's got a double jump. <laughs> he kicks the air so hard, he's like Sanji. Yeah, or uh, the CP9 guys. <laughs> nah, that was lame. <laughs> Actually, before I advance, I want to see what that left path goes to. Left path? You're crazy. And it leads to absolutely nothing! It leads to your death, because you fucked up. I did. I done fucked up. I done fucked it up. Anyway. So now you gotta get that chest again. Yeah, Ugh. but at least now I know not to go left. Yeah, the big bull was really a really cool point in the game, for sure. Yeah, definitely. It was actually kind of hard, too. Yeah, it really was. Definitely required some thinking. Some thinking. You, you had to be really quick with your combos. Mm hmm. Most definitely. Oh boy, what are these things? They're uh, floaty fire reapers. Apparently. How do you not recognize them? <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere. Well, I said good morning to one this morning. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Yeah, you gotta utilize those block attacks. Yeah. Indubitably. Oh. Ah. So, are you familiar with the flower we saw that day? Not at all? at all, no. So, it's about um, a group of friends who, when they were uh, small children, one of uh, one of their friends died, like oh, yeah. died, uh, accidentally drowned in the river or something. Oh, jeez! And um, they could never get over their friend's death, mm -hmm. so they kind of split up. Oh. Yeah. And uh, one of one of the characters. Um, one of the characters was, like, I want to say fa not to the point of fascination, but I guess in love with her, oh, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, he basically became introverted real hard, like, stopped uh, going to school, and I think it was, like, seven years had passed between that moment and where you meet, meet him, and uh, he's, he's uh, all of a sudden, like, seen her ghost. Oh, really? And he thinks it's, like... He thinks he's going crazy, and he and he won't tell anybody. Oh yeah. He thinks it's all in his head. Hmm. Oh jeez, big old blade pillar. Yeah, I'm sure nothing will happen to you. Nothing bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you're in hell or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does this look anything like hell? <laughs> Lots of orbs. Looks more like what I imagine <laughs> Brazil to look like. Or... Ah, Rio de Janeiro. Smooth. Right. 
And... Well, at least it starts you right here because it knows you're going to die. Yeah. Uh... Hard but fair. Yeah, so it's um, it's really short. I think it's like 12 episodes oh, or yeah. 10 episodes. Hmm. It's not long at all. But um, basically, uh, over the course of the episodes, he's, he... Uh, um, it's kind of the story of these these this group of friends slowly reconnecting and trying to get over their friend's death. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Uh oh, need the bolts of Zeus, and I am out of magic. Great. Ah, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> you can jump on that log, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but he might shoot me, and then I tumble to my damnation. I don't and say it's a. Or orbs. orbs. More orbs. Yeah. What's over dish way? I don't know. You can't control the camera. No! Friggin'! Why'd you do that? You were jumping on the log and then you turned away. Oh, it starts you right here. How nice. to stabilize my direction. And my Rage of the Gods gauge is full. Yeah, it's one of the most um, saddening and satisfying endings I've seen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. It's really good. It's a nice, nice quick watch. It really gets the point across. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I definitely, I definitely became a bit teary-eyed. <laughs> Usually, a anime it makes me feel that way. If um, it it it, it takes it takes a little bit, you know. Ah, uh, what is that? Why, friggin'? Just go, man. Just want to ah, you motherfucker! I hate those archers. Well, okay. I guess next time on Moose and Spiel. All right, next time. <laughs>